Alex, what's going on? So much has happened since last time we met. Come on, let's go to the secret stone circle and speak with Fripp and the druids. Hey, there's Avalon. Here he comes. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what are you doing here? I live here. Dot, dot, dot. Look at her face. Hmm, I thought the soul writers had no need for the wisdom of the keepers of Aideen anymore. Not true, we still need you. We're here to speak with you. So much has happened, you wouldn't believe it. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's Fripp. Aw, look at him. Look at his little paws. You don't need to explain anything. Your witch friend has visited and revealed all. Wait, witch friend? The Vala or Pi? Hey, don't forget about Miss Holdsworth. There's like three witches now. Miss Holdsworth shared with us that the Vala witch, Sieve, is neither good nor evil, but in fact assisted you in Concord's transformation for a price. Yeah, we kind of got this vortex going on. Mm -hmm. Now that price is being paid all across Dorvik. This was a calamity I foresaw, and yet I could do nothing to prevent it. So what are we going to do about it? Yeah, Yidris seems concerned about the Chaos Vortex, so I guess we should be too. Hmm, yes. For once, Yidris is correct. One wrong move and the Chaos Vortex could affect Yorvik in ways we cannot even fathom. We must take action. Come, let's meet at Fort Maria Library. Ride to Fort Maria. Ooh, I don't need to use this entrance anymore. The Keepers of Aideen have made the front door accessible. What? Wait a minute. We can go through the front? But why are all the horses here? Is this true? We've never been able to go through the front gates. Oh! <gasps> We can go through the front gates. This is brand new. Okay, in we go. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's what's through this door, which this is the door that we normally go in right here. Please speak amongst yourselves while we wait for everyone's arrival. Speak with the soul riders and the keepers of Aideen. Someone's dancing over there. Oh, there's a bunch of people here. That's new. I've never seen this many people in the library. Hi, have you been befriending witches? We had to do it for Concord. We've been doing our own thing. Trouble is my middle name. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing our own thing. Yeah, it's a nice painting, isn't it? Look at how much bigger our characters are compared to the NPCs. Huge height difference. Not good. This is so nice seeing so many NPCs in here. It makes the library feel more alive now. Like, look at it. Hi, are you guys here to check out the books? Oh, um, hello. Hello. Hi, you're reading something. Oh, I recognize the druids. I used to eat the crust off his sandwiches. Only when he wasn't looking, of course. You look sunburnt. Hmm. Don't tell me you've been sunning while we've been working tirelessly to get to the bottom of this chaos vortex. No, I've been up north in the mountains, visiting some friends I've made during my exile. Witches and druids alike. They all have some very interesting things to say about the resurfacing of the Vala magic and the arrival of the chaos vortex. Hi, we were looking forward to seeing you here. Feels good to be working alongside the druids again. I've been making some interesting discoveries about the Wild Weave and Fala Magic. I've been visiting the Life Warden Tree and asking them what they think about the Chaos Vortex. Some of them spoke to me, others weren't so helpful. The tree that we planted wouldn't talk to me at all. When I asked the Sleeping Willow, her companion tree, why, the willow began weeping and asked me to leave. Evergrey requires your help in exploring and charting the Wild Weave. I hope we can learn more about the mysterious realm. Evergrey knows all about traveling between realms. He'll be able to help us learn more about the Wild Weave without getting sick like he would in Pandoria. Avalon requires your help in the upper levels of the library. We wish to translate the giant book that lies there with hopes that it reveals more to us about the Chaos Vortex, Vala, Nark, and more. <gasps> There's a player. Where are they going? Hey, that was the guy that I saw upstairs next to the books. We're in a library. Everyone's next to the books. There's abandoned Darconium shipment by the Eastern Slopes. Investigate the abandoned Darconium shipment with Fripp. Hey, it's that guy. He's swatting away flies. Okay, he seems busy. Oh, somebody's face down. Be wary of lightning storms. They appear to be of the same nature as the Chaos Vortex. Perhaps they caused what's happening here. I will stabilize the Darconium. You seek clues to what transpired. Oh, it's just the GED guys. We don't have to worry too much about them. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> A silver earring. It looks like it could be Jessica's. I mean, of course, if there's trouble around, it's gotta be one of the Dark Riders. Two numbers written on a torn scrap of paper. Eight and one. Torn paper with the numbers seven and four. <gasps> GED. Something didn't bring that one down. He's been hiding. <laughs> what should I say? Ah, uh, a robot. What are you doing here? Leave this place. I mean, we know what he's doing here. I mean, he's here with his buds, with his friends. Let's say leave this place. <gasps> Information denied. Unit will self-destruct in 10. He is a robot. Nine, eight. Haha, ha, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay, he actually got me. You should have seen the look on your face. You and your horse had better start galloping away because I just called for backup. Oh no. Okay, so more GED are going to be here. Oh. Um, what just happened? That should deal with it. Not to worry. I only cast him back to Dark Core Oil Rig. That's one more goon that can't hurt us. Fripp, you did that? <laughs> oh, 
there's a safe. Darconium has been stabilized. Let's take a closer look at the vehicle. The numbers you found. Could it be for this lockbox? Remember this code, 8174. 8174. 8174. <gasps> it opened. What do we have in there? It's just a bunch of books. Yeah, it's a stack of documents. It appears to be a map of your Viking coordinates to certain locations. Could this lead us to where they are mining? And this, it's a shard of pure darconium, honed in such a way that it is a battery of sorts. Mm, it's more complex than that. It's a fuel cell. Mysterious indeed. What do you make of it? The Chaos Vortex is affecting the Darkonium. The Dark Riders are getting even more dangerous. We need to follow up on that intel. Yeah, Dark Riders are getting even more dangerous. We can conclude that a Dark Rider was present. Darkonium is being transferred into a depletable power source. And the Chaos Vortex seems to have an effect on the stability of the ore. <gasps> do you hear that sound? Dark Core drones are approaching. That's our cue to leave. Let's be back at the library and have cupcakes. Here they come. Oh no, did they spot us? Oh no, here it comes. I mean, it hasn't completely spotted me yet. Oh, it's like harmless. Well, I better ride back. Ah, back in the library. Keep helping Avalon and Evergrey. Hmm. We have another passage ready for decoding. Gather the books and start the translation. Help Avalon on his research with the Yorvika Gigantica. Gather the cipher books in the library and start decoding using magic. Pick up this book and gather this one too. Okay, touch the runes when they are glowing blue to activate them. Okay, this is pretty easy. Nice. So do you need help with anything else? Mm, we've got several important tasks ahead of us. We must monitor the Dark Riders. Secondly, we must guard Fort Maria Library in the Roman portal room from potential threats while we unlock its vast knowledge to further aid our cause. This is my primary assignment. Thirdly, glean the Vala's true plans and intentions. Speak with Sieve and Devil's Gap to learn more. Mm. And lastly, my brother is exploring the Wild Weave to learn more about the mysterious realm and its potential threats. I'm sure he could use your assistance. Something is brewing on the horizon, but we don't know what or who the biggest threat be on guard. Oh, he's gone. Okay, let's go talk with Evergrey. He's down by the Wild Weave. Let's see if we can find him in here. Oh, there he is. That was easy. What do you think, Evergrey? The Wild Weave is an ever-changing area, so we have to continue mapping it all out. Help Evergrey map out the Wild Weave. Oh, so there's something here. Collecting energy. <gasps> did something. It didn't seem to change the map. Add more energy here. Oh, 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 it did. It did do something. Let's click here again. Oh yeah, it, it added more roots in, didn't it? That's kind of what it looked like it did. Ooh, the map. Press the button when you're ready. Okay, tune the map. We did it. There's definitely a pattern emerging. So we're all tasked with continuing to monitor the Dark Riders. Avalon is leading the task of guarding the Fort Maria Library and the Roman Portal Room while decoding its secrets. We're learning about the Vala's true plans and intentions. Sieve's floating around Devil's Gap and she's our best lead. Evergrey's job is to explore the Wild Weave to learn more about the mysterious realm and its potential threats. Careful not to trip on the roots. So Fripp has like a little clock above his head basically that you have to do reputation with him. So I will be back tomorrow with more quests. Okay, it's day two. Hmm, we have another passage ready for decoding. Gather up the books and start translation. Um, hello. Hi. Oh, is he okay? This is so amazing, nom nom. It's almost like Swedish fika. Is he eating something? Let's do a decoding. Okay, it's been decoded. Hmm, thank you. Now let's meet with Evergrey again. Map it out. So far, these quests are exactly the same as they were yesterday. Yeah, we're making more roots grow for sure. Hmm. Oh good, there's definitely a pattern emerging. Ooh, now we can talk to Fripp. Some time has passed since our last outing and you've been working to discover more about the chaos vortex that looms above. Now it's time we enter Devil's Gap. Yes, and now we get to find Sieve. Speak to Sieve, the Vala Witch. This is exciting. I love any quest with the Vala Witch. We haven't met Sieve yet. Okay, let me go see if I can find her. There's something twinkling. Something's not right. We should head down to the bottom of the pit. Let's go. I mean, something definitely is not right. I mean, the chaos vortex looks angrier than ever. Look at it twisting and turning. Oh, something's happening. What is she doing? Use the fires to draw the power into the mask. Let me put my mask on. Okay, I'm ready. Try to grab it. Oh, here's the fire. <gasps> we did it. Thank, thank you. You came just, just in time. time. And, and thank, thank you, curious, curious creature. creature. I am Sieve. Greetings, my name is Fripp. We have seen one another before, have we not? Long, long ago, the humans were so different then. But Yorvik has remained much the same. 
Suddenly, as your it carries on steadily while magic around it shifts like the facets of a gem. The keepers of Aideen continuously fight to protect your from the clutches of Nork, even though I understand it is not of interest to you. My, My only interest, interest is in maintaining, maintaining the balance of our fragile world. Um, where are the other Vala? Surely you're not alone. We, we Vala, Vala, are not hive mind. mind. My, My sisters, sisters are free to go, and, and do as they please. Very well. Uh, can we discuss the Chaos Vortex? From the Druid's close analysis, it's growing more dangerous, affecting the world around it. The Chaos, Chaos Vortex, Vortex is a powerful force, force but I have always managed to control it. Something, something strange is happening. Something, something is interfering with the fragile balance between realms. I can no longer hold it back alone. Help me control the Vortex. Ooh, are we gonna help control it? Uh, one more thing. Tell me, Sieve. What is it that you want from all this? A wise and ancient being such as yourself surely knows better than to ask a witch her intentions outright. Ooh, she doesn't want to say. She's not going to tell us. So how are we supposed to get to the Chaos Vortex? I would love to help, but this way it looks like it's still blocked off. I can't get in there. There's something on the map, but I don't know where that is. Maybe I should head back and get the other Soul Riders? There's nothing we can do now. I'll let you know when another mission arises. You should help Sieve, too. Oh no! Okay, so he got clocked again. But there's still a few more quests, including one with helping Sieve, and we still need to help Evergrey. I still haven't been able to figure out why and how these bright abnormalities have set in. But lucky for us, you can heal it. Ride around the Wild Weave and heal any abnormalities you come across. Ooh, this looks strange. Something is definitely not right. Use magic. Oh! Were those Pandorian flowers? That look like something from Pandoria. Yeah, look at them. Ooh, this does not look good. Okay, it's like a little spiky mushroom. Send that back to wherever it came from. It's trying to infect the wild weave. I wonder if the Vala Witch knows anything about this. This one I can't use any magic on. The crystals just appeared. Let's use some magic here. Get rid of these little small mushrooms. And get rid of these. Good, they're vanishing. Now I have enough power to get rid of the crystals. Try to get rid of these. Perfect. We healed the wild weave. Yes, we can't have this corruption go unchecked. Sieve, what's going on? It, it appears, appears I have I not scared, scared you, you off yet. yet. Even, Even the, the most insurmountable, insurmountable mountains are worn down, down by time. time. Are, are you the wind or mountain in this scenario? scenario? I've, I've lived, lived long, long enough to see through acts, to discern one's true, true intention. intention. And, and you are as clear as glass. You and your, you and your friends, friends are searching for clues and monitoring the Dark Riders. Avalon is guarding Fort Maria and the Roman portal room while attempting to decode its secrets. Evergrey is exploring the Wild Weave to map out the realm and its inhabitants. You are here to grasp for clues of what my plans may be. Know that you are being watched just as closely. I am merely an observer, a watcher. I look, I look forward, forward to seeing, seeing what you'll do. The, the fire plants around Devil's, Devil's Gap, Gap are not only to help light the way, but for protection, protection too. If, if the fire, fire were to go out, the web of magic, magic that keeps Vala magic contained to Devil's, Devil's Gap, Gap would cease to be, which in our current situation would mean the uncontrollable power of the chaos vortex would flood Yorvik like a river bursting at the banks. It would be wise to keep the fires lit. Lighting up Devil's Gap. The chaos vortex has extinguished a few flames. Please reignite them to contain the ball of magic into Devil's Gap. Reignite the extinguished flames. There's one. Okay, keep that one lit. There we go. We lit them all up. Success. Success. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, that's day two of the quest. I will see you tomorrow for day three. Okay, it's the third day. Time to do the dailies. So, so far, it's the same. We're healing the wild weave and collecting energy. Tune the map and collect the XP. Now we need to help Avalon again. Same thing. Gathering the books and decode them. Now we're off to help the Vala Witch again. So we're going to reignite the flames again. Good, it worked. And that's it for day three. See you tomorrow for day four. Today is day four, and it does actually look like all of the dailies are kind of the same thing. So let me get them done, and I will let you know if there's anything different. So after doing all those dailies, Fripp now has an explanation point above his head. Dark problems. We were just in time. I've been studying the Darconium fuel cell and thinking about Steve's words on the chaos storm. I've come to a conclusion. <gasps> We get an item. Intercept and neutralize the Darconium equipment. I fear the Dyke Riders are using the fuel cells to do something risky beyond belief. They are perhaps building the portal that will bring Nark into the world. Well, why are we just standing here? We need to find the Lost Light Ceremony book pages now before the Dark Riders complete their ranks and build up the portal that will release Nark into our world. Uh, it's not our job to collect pages of a dusty old book. We're soul riders. 
We protect. Alex is right. We should get out there and start neutralizing the Darkonium shipments to stall the Dark Riders. Uh, but the Spy Master tells me there is a number of Darkonium shipments passing through Jorvik at any given time that he has eyes on. The six of us need to split into pairs and stop the trucks. We'll split up and tackle the trucks in pairs. That way we'll cover more ground. Oh, Anna and I are on a team. The truck is up by the mountains by Veildale Lake. Yes, and we can use a portal to get there. Here's the portal. We'll just hop in. Oh, there they go. There's a truck. Quickly, let's catch up to neutralize the Darconium. There she goes. Be very careful. We have to make the truck stop somehow. It's risky, but maybe we can use our magic together and target the tires and slow it down. Time it right and you should be able to aim for the tires as it drives over that smoother patch of road. I'll cast a solar dome that will help supercharge our magic and contain the damage. Sun Circle, I call upon you to shine light on all that is dark. Oh, he's driving pretty slow. We should be able to get it. Zap the wheels. Do we get it? They're slowing down. We did it. You can see it start slowing down. Let's aim for another tire. Try targeting it with multiple bursts of magic this time. What if I didn't do it? Do we see what happens if I just don't zap the wheels? <gasps> Looks like they're struggling to drive. They're reversing the car. Here's our chance. I'll let you know when it's a good time to blast the tires with your magic. All right, zap the tires. They're smoking. Oh. That should slow down the truck enough to allow us to catch up to it. <gasps> my game froze, you guys. I can't move my horse. Oh no. What happens if I quit the quest mid quest? I can't even open my global store. Should I call for a pickup? There's no one to pick you up right now. I have to restart my game because it froze. All right, let's go ahead and quit. Okay, I'm back and now I can move. Oh, I gotta go back to Fort Maria life. <laughs> I gotta go back to Fort Maria. All right, I'm back. There's the truck. Let's try this again. Zap the wheels. Okay, I can still move. <gasps> Jessica, not so fast, Soul Riders. You're outnumbered two to one. I'm not looking for a fight, are you? I hardly call blasting you with my sun magic a fight. Whoa, Pandoria really gave you a temper. Was the crystal not cushy enough for you? You're gonna regret saying that. <gasps> and no, get her. I said get her. I wouldn't threaten to blast anything when there's Darkonium shipment nearby. Besides, this fight isn't so even, is it? How about if you start seeing double or even triple? <gasps> she duplicated herself. She tripleized herself. It's an illusion. She's using her powers. She cloned herself. It might just be an illusion. You're right. We can't let her get away. There's another Darconium truck right there. Oh, and Jessica. There she is. Now's my chance. I can get her. She's casting magic. <gasps> what? Her horse dodged it. Oh, what is happening to that truck? I don't think so. Darn it. I missed her. At least the Darconium isn't an issue anymore. Good job. That was risky. Yeah, that was risky. Not really. If I did a good enough job, Jessica wouldn't have gotten away. <gasps> you did what you could. That's all that matters. Oh, Concord. Thanks, girl. I'm glad we're back together like this. Oh, and if you're wondering where I opened that portal to send that truck to, I just thought of the darkest place I know and opened a portal to it. We should get back to the library and see if the others managed to shut down the other trucks of Darconium. Oh, so Anne opened up a portal and that's where the truck went. I thought it just decided to get small really fast. All right, let's go back through the portal. Whoop. Um, okay. That didn't work. I hope your mission fared well. Everything went as planned. A few problems, but we handled them. And almost blasted Jessica. She did almost blast her. I fear the Dark Riders are using the fuel cells to do something risky beyond belief. <laughs> he said nothing about Anne and Jessica. Jessica came out of nowhere and tried to stop us, but we still managed to neutralize the threat. Sabine did the same to Frippin. We just about made it back to the library before her army of Dark Corgoons got us. And Katja confronted me and Alex. They must be assigned to protect the shipments of Darconium fuel cells. Mm, this is all very concerning. I'll continue you to search tirelessly for the missing pages of the Lost Light Ceremony book. They're in this library somewhere. I can feel it. In the meantime, continue to thwart the Dark Rider's efforts by neutralizing Darconium shipments. Speak with Avalon to embark on that mission. Each of you has fought bravely to protect Jorvik today, but I fear the worst is yet to come. It's okay, Fripp. We're here. We got it. We can handle anything. Now we wait. Continue striving towards our goals and hope that Dark Riders do not prevail in their nefarious plan. I got the jacket. Everything looks normal. The main story will go on in coming game updates. Until then, you can continue doing the daily quests, improve your results in the competitions, or just hang out with your friends in Jorvik. Have a nice day in Jorvik. Nice! Okay, we completed the whole main story for now. So I guess I will have to see tomorrow if there's going to be any more available quests or if it's over. Because that was a lot of great XP. Let's check out this new jacket that I was given. So here it is. It says Forest Bohemian. Now you can blend in with the rest of the druids at Fort Maria Library and read books 
late into the night. Just don't let Avalon catch you snacking. Avalon doesn't like snacking? <gasps> now she's saying hello there. Hi, now I blend in with you. I'm so tired. So this is a very beautiful outfit. Now I can hang out in the library with everybody else. I mean, I could do that before, but now I've got this really nice tunic. Press the subscribe button. Join the family. We're all horse crazy here. Keep being beautiful. Keep being you. Hugs, hearts, horses. See you in my next video. Bye. Ooh, a book on making cupcakes. Sounds perfect today.